You're listening to Unregular Radio. All right, we're back to Hotheads Where Activism Happens. On unregularradio.com. 617-606-4122 is the phone number. Mm-hmm. As always. And uh, we have a crazy show today. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Flying by the seat of our pants. Well, it's crazy either way because we, we don't know we're what's slightly insane yeah. to have all of these friends and guests and and uh, and uh, compatriots that might be dropping by. We so. can't really tell you who's going to come in because we don't know. <laughs> we do okay. know some one person's here. Oh, yeah. One big guest. Yeah. Carmelita. Carmelita. Let's hear for Carmelita. <laughs> she's outside talking, smoozing for us. Yep. And I believe she spent the day out um, campaigning for Elizabeth Warren today. So, or that was yesterday. No, uh, that's today. today. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Every, every Saturday, Saturday, she's been going out for the Union Democrat mm-hmm. labor ticket. Yeah. So uh, we'll be talking to her about that a little bit later on. Yeah, and you know her from uh, rock radio, so mm-hmm. this is kind of a new thing for her to be talking about politics. I think. Yeah. Well. I don't know. First time. I don't yeah. actually know. Yeah, you're right, though. You, I don't know about she that. always bring politics into her music, though. Exactly. Too, so. And we right bring music that. into our yeah. politics. So yeah. it's kind of a good It's a good fit right here. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> and actually, I'll be bringing in some musicians a little bit later in the show. They're on their way. Um, uh, some excellent rappers, Shane Hall and Jacob Dinklage. They're both incredible people. And uh, we played an awesome show with them last night. Um, and. Uh, and uh, Jacob especially is very political with his hip hop, and uh, we'll talk to him a little bit about that. And uh, we what, have we have rumored. Where was that in Austin, Mass, in an underground yeah, basement type yeah, show? Yeah, it was nice. It was a really good time. Awesome. It was You're living really the life then. I am. <laughs> You're really doing it. I love that. You could say that. I, I haven't been to many basements later, lately. Oh, I used man. to always go. We'll take you with us tonight. I missed Dave Tree know. on show yesterday. That's kind of like he does that all the time, Dave Tree. Big shout out to Dave Tree. You just got married. Yeah. Let's hear it for Dave Tree. He's a legend. Fucking Dave. Legend. <laughs> I missed his Halloween party last night. That's why I did I had to work. Come on, Mike. You gonna come out with me tonight then? I'll take you to some basements. We'll yeah. have a good time. If uh, what are you gonna be for Halloween? I don't know. Mike. I think the guy on right, channel, you guys I think, call the, I think I'm gonna be the guy on channel five. <laughs> yes, you are, and we'll definitely talk about that. I just watched that on the way over here. Absolutely unbelievable. The channel five has been ganking your your work without credit, without permission, and uh, using it to discredit medical marijuana and we'll talk about that a little Well they can later. have permission if they at least at acknowledge least that the grassroots exist. That when they, how right. the little yeah, credit, who are we? You know, I, who Kelly Tuthill mm-hmm. and um, who's the other lady? I, I love these two ladies on Channel Five. I'm I mean, a longtime supporter. I forgot uh, what her name was. Now, the main, the main uh, anchor, uh, Liz Bruner. They, they were the two who uh, with myself on on Channel Five, I guess, and uh, they ran the pieces all 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 day yesterday. The advertisements, I guess, with us in them, and uh, then they said we don't exist. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like they, yeah, they, they're stealing they your. The they're stealing your. Uh, they show the grassroots, but then we don't exist. Yeah, exactly. It's only about Peter Lewis and his million dollars. And no, it's we like, just care about grass, not grassroots. Yeah, you know that was. But now big... they won't. Now in this pit piece, they wouldn't even acknowledge we exist. But then they show us. But it's they're like, stealing your your. And footage. they show us though. <laughs> There's Mike can. I mean, they showed me yeah. for four seconds, like like so crystal clear that I think every person at work saw that. Like, <laughs> Like, my know, mother's yeah. calling me. Like, I know. Like, I couldn't believe the people that would call me. I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, I'm like, a little I worried. The, the, I don't want to be all plastered on the on the nightly news. You I'm weren't. Not, I'm you, not you as missed I this thing. one. Good. It was all <laughs> Actually, me. It's, I'm a little it was afraid myself, of it. Charlie from yep. Relief Magazine, DJ Slim, That's and awesome, uh, Danilo, though. and uh, another young lady that was a supporter of DJ Slim, and me signing a shirt. I mean, that's what they showed. It was just hilarious. But we don't exist. Yeah, but we don't exist. <laughs> Channel Five, you know, you, Channel Five, uh, the news team. Oh, I sent them an email today about this, and I asked them to show the grassroots that we've been mm-hmm. here, that we've done 60, 60 plus, I think, public policy questions, yep. mass care, normal drug policy forum. Yeah, in and actually, Alex is going to be in here a little bit later to talk about those because there's. Some progress being made on the public policy question, and, and that's not funded by Peter Lewis. This no, is mass citizen, all independent. She, when I, and then I called all the, the voter Eng- registration di- drives. I called Maggie today from the New England uh, School of Journalism, um, which is at Boston University, and they were the ones that gave uh, Channel Five the information about the public policy uh, about the uh, ballot initiative, the funding, and they said the person from this group basically said that this is not a grassroots movement. Right, and it's like, how can you ignore us? We've done sixty plus public policy questions. When when I talked to Maggie today on the phone, I was kind of, 
I, I, I wasn't my nicest usual self, <laughs> especially to journalists. Usually I'm very, I'm, I'm a journalist, media person myself. And she handled it very, really well. But she said two things, which I thought were very interesting. She said she had never heard of me, <laughs> which, which it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, if you haven't heard of me, you will now. Number, <laughs> number one. Number two, it's um, how can you miss 60 public policy questions that have all won, not funded by Peter Lewis? And she said, where is your money coming from? How much money do you guys have? And I said, we have no money. Yep. We are, we are volunteer. We have thousands of hours of volunteer time from mass citizens. If that's not grassroots, yeah, that's I not don't democracy know in what action. is. Exactly. And she, she, I think that she has to hear that. And I think that Channel 5 has to hear that. And you guys both as press, because mm-hmm. that's what this, uh, jur- this journalism is institute over at uh, Boston University is they have to report the news and the, re- the news is Alex Arsenault is walking and right now is that the people are here and we do do we have been working on this grassroots movement and my 600 plus videos on YouTube over the last six years prove that the, yep, that absolutely it's not just Mike can like that's the beauty of this they showed a video and there's four of us on it because there's always so many of us involved in this movement so you can't deny it Yep, absolutely, and 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 Alex is here, like you said, and we'll we'll get into the the PPQs, but more proof. If you needed any proof, I mean, if they looked, you know, beyond their own brain stems for a second and just and thought about it and looked out in the world and saw what people were doing, and Channel they'd be Five totally again, discredited. Yeah, they just uh, did, they just uh, not they did not let Dan Fishman in on that. Oh yeah, and they have two candidates for Congress running there. Um, both say they support medical marijuana, but neither of them support legalization. Dan Fishman does. They didn't allow Dan Fishman in. He is polling. He is getting numbers. He is getting support. And he's basically suing them. And he, Channel 5, like what happened to Channel 5? I just want to keep saying that because Channel 5 used to be the place that was fair and balanced. And it seems like on both of these campaigns, both the congressional campaign on the North Shore and this medical marijuana, yeah. that they're not being fair to us. There is a grassroots movement. And this is a familiar argument, too. I mean, they've used this against all sorts of, you know, decrim measures, legalization measures. Um, I know with Prop 19, I mean, they did similar stuff and trying to discredit, oh, this is outsiders that are trying to take over our state. And, you know, it's not the people that want this. This is, you know, this billionaire, you know, it's all it's all up to them. And that's trying to discredit all the, of course the people want this. Yeah, of course they <laughs> We've do. been wanting this for a long time. That's why they're scared and they're running hit pieces like this. Absolutely. And, and the thing is, I want to tell our grassroots, too, to get involved. Right now on that WCVB video, I want you to post that I am part of the grassroots. You cannot ignore me. Everyone needs to post this on their Facebook. They need to promote it on the WCVB yeah. video. Post a comment. If you're on Facebook, you can instantly post a comment signing in through Facebook right there on their website. Let them know that you're part of the grassroots and you cannot be ignored because that is the truth of what we're doing here is that they can't ignore us. They put us up. They, they need us to get the views on WCVB. That was a big day for them to promote us yesterday, just as much for them as it is for us. And that's because we're doing it and we're not going to stop and 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 wait on uh, some command from the powers that be i appreciate yeah dude that was that was an inspiring uh inspiring story there <laughs> it's the truth it's true. We, we people people <laughs> the the more that we speak up and I, i'm i'm committing since i'm on this i'm more out there than ever and i'm i'm committing to even go further like i, I don't care i'm gonna go all out we're going all in Taking them down. And I, and I think everyone needs to. I think there's a lot of us exactly. that still hold back because of our jobs. There's so many phone calls I get even the, today worrying about uh, jobs because they're on this WCVB. It, it's more wide um, exposure than ever before, than more than YouTube. I know. Unfortunately, I'd be concerned if I was in that video. I, on, the, on one hand, I'd be, I'd be proud. I'd be happy. And on the other hand, I mean, I am proud and I am happy to be a part of this, obviously. But it's still not acceptable. Yeah, it's it's the truth still... Uh, the, the social and where is it? Where is, so is the place that's the least accepted? It's at work. It's finding yeah. work, and that's why it's tough to say it's stay independent. It's because you're, you know, you you're either have to opt in or job. opt out. Yeah, like that. You basically have to join one of these group. Like, like 
the million dollar campaign that she talks about, well, a lot of us have not opted not to be part of it. We've we've opted to stay independent, and that's a tough road to hoe. And and for them to ignore us, shame on them. Channel Five. I just care to keep saying that. Yep. Like if you if you don't if you don't call myself or call Alex Arsenal or call Bill Downing from Mass Can Normal or call. Any of uh, Jack Cole from Law Enforcement Against Prohibition. If you don't call the grassroots, the true grassroots of Massachusetts, Channel 5, shame on you after running that and being notified. We're putting you on notice, the community is. <laughs> on notice. Oh, you heard it. You heard it, folks. I, I can't believe it. I mean, I just saw it when I was coming over here. And I, I, I'm blown away by the fact that they, they took your own, your, your footage tried to use it against us <laughs> you know and then say we don't and exist. then say we don't exist <laughs> we exist we're here we got listeners we got supporters <laughs> we got friends in the we studio got we got yes. a great show today yeah. we got some uh some some potential guests dropping by we're gonna tr- yeah we're gonna try something next too we have alex in the studio we have karma leader in the studio we we are hoping that vermin supreme comes by he said he yes, was we, we were don't told. know he's not here yet you never know and I, um we're going to try to get a phone call in with a mass state senator. We don't know if that's going to work out because it hasn't been 100% confirmed. And we're not going to blame that on them because we, <laughs> we had a cancellation a few weeks ago with them yep. with the power. So we'll see what happens on that. But you know it's a big show today. Always, always. And we got plenty of guests to keep it rolling. So unregular radio call in 617 616 You say 606? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. got it. Yeah. You got it. Did it. I'm, I'm making it a year in, and I finally have memorized the See, if we put Heather in my seat, she'd instantly get it, because you're always looking that way. You just don't see it visually. Yeah, I said call in and demand your pony today for Vermin Supreme, but also, you know, weigh in on all this stuff. If you've seen the video, go, you know, it's posted on our website, it's posted on Mike's website, weigh in on this. We got also some uh, Juggalos Fight Back information we're going to be updating. Unbelievable, the shit that's going on. Yeah, more, more profiling yeah. and targeting, which is hilarious, because a few of my friends are dressing up as Juggalos for Halloween tonight. <laughs> Maybe that's who you should be, in they solidarity. Might, they might get a criminal file for that, seriously. Oh, no. You better warn them. Uh-oh. All right. Well, we'll talk about that in a little bit when we come back. Have some Is music. the FBI going to investigate your Halloween costume? Oh, God. Oh, God. The war on Halloween continues. We'll that be back. We'll be back. <laughs> Two hotheads where activism happens on unregularradio.com.